everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am riding Sunny. My name is Zara Griffiths and I'm going to be showing you how to go from a medium walk to a free walk. showing you how to go from one transition to the other because I think people tend to forget that that is actually a transition test way from intro up to Grand Prix so we all need to know how do I go from a free walk to a medium walk or a medium walk to a free walk now I think this is something that people take for granted and people don't practice enough in their training the free walk nine out of ten times is a double mark and I always think it's silly to waste marks so what I'm going to do is just show you how I go from both of them and what I like to do to encourage them to stretch down and how I like to pick them back up. Okay, so let's go, Sunny. So I am currently in what I would class as a medium wall. Now, this is actually a really good horse to show you on because Sunny is so hot i used to have a lot of problems i say used to i still have some issues with him getting tense in the walk and wanting to jog and as you all know as soon as your horses start to jog straight away the marks just come right down and you'll probably only get a three or a four so whilst i'm practicing the medium walk i just occasionally like to throw in a halt transition Ooh. and as i halt him i just release the pressure and give him a little pat and then walk on again just trying to get him to chill out a little bit. Like I say, the medium walk and the free walk is something that I actually train. I don't just use it as a break for my horses. I like to use it as an actual, you know, it's something that I actually work on. So he's currently not on a break. He is in a medium walk. I'm making sure that he's striding out, which he does quite naturally well. I want him to be forward, which is great, but I don't want him to be tense. He's on the bit, but again, you see occasionally he tries to drop his head down. And I'm going to throw in a ooh, transition again. And as soon as he stands, I just release that pressure just to let him know that what he did was correct. So I always, as you know, work with pressure and release. So now he's started to settle down a little bit. Oh, he's gone a bit quick again, so I'm going to ask for a little halt. Just trying to get him to chill out a little bit. Good boy. So now I've got him a little bit calmer in the medium walk, and I'm trying my best to keep his rhythm by moving my hips. I'm going to start to let my reins go into that free walk. Now, I'm quite lucky in the fact that Sonny does tend to want to take his head down, but I'm going to tell you a little tip later as to how to encourage them to put their heads down. So, at the moment, I am actually going to let him have all his reins. Again, this is something that, you know, everybody's happy to give them their reins when they're practicing, or not even practicing, but when they're, you know, letting their horses stretch. So, sometimes your horse doesn't stretch down just because it doesn't have enough length of the rein. So this is where you as a rider need to make sure they've got plenty length of rein. So again, I'm quite lucky in the fact that he wants to stretch down. Sonny is a horse that doesn't have a high head carriage. He wants to always put it down, so that's fine. So he can take it down like now. And this is where the tricky part comes in. And I bet a lot of you guys have this problem when you scoop the reins up and he starts to creep tension back in. So I'm gonna pick my reins up now and stay in a medium walk. And up, see how he goes into a jog? Okay, so he jogged, so that was a mistake. So what I'm going to do is stand, and now I'm actually gonna throw in a little cheeky rein back. Good. And the reason why I throw in a rein back is again, as part of my training techniques, I like to, do a rein back if they make a mistake. So he's gone to jog again. So I stand and I do a rein back. Good boy. Just to let him know that what he did was wrong. So again, in, in all of my training, if a horse makes a mistake, I never ever shout at my horses. I will never smack them or tell them off. But what I will do is just throw in a rein back to say that was incorrect. So Again, a little bit of tension's crept in. Now I've picked the reins up, so I'm going to go stand. I'm not going to do a rein back because he never did anything wrong. Good. Walk on. 
stand. Just so, again, he knows that he can't run away in the walk. And I actually had quite a lot of you say on my Facebook page when I was asking you what you want to see, a lot of you guys actually said that your horses jog in the free walk to medium walk and have a bit of tension. But I hate to say it, but you just got to keep working on it. Doing stuff like this, making them stand. Good. And walking on again. Give a little pat. And just putting this bit of work into your training. So now I've got a nice medium walk again. I'm going to completely let my reins go. Now, if he jogs, I'm going to pick him back up and I'm going to get him to stand and do a rein back to let him know what he did wrong. And as he's down there, I'm just kind of playing with my reins a little bit. Like my hands are quite wide and low. And I'm just trying to say, come on, you can put your head down a little bit further than that. I haven't got loads and loads of contacts. As you can see, I've basically got no reins. But even while they're down there, I just occasionally tweak one of the reins, encouraging him to put his head down. As you can see, he's got a little bit of tension creeping in now. That's why he's walking really fast. So I just do my best to sit really quiet. Quiet. And again, a lot of us like to put their leg on in the free walk because yes, whoops, yes, you should be walking forward in the free walk. But I always think actually you push them out of rhythm. So I just use my hips to either speed him up or slow him down. I'm using my body and my hips, not my leg. I'm actually not touching him at all with my leg because I know he's really hot. And when I go in to do that dressage check, he's going to be desperate for me to go and send him forward. So I'm not touching him with my leg. I'm just staying nice and calm. And one last time, I'm going to pick those, whoop, <laughs> pick those reins up. That's what I mean about him being a Ted Sorter. So I'm going to pick those reins up now, pop him back into the medium walk, sit nice and quiet. I'm not really squeezing him with my leg. Again, he goes to do a jog. So I stand and I rein back. And I walk on and I just sit quiet again and just encourage him to stay in that rhythm. Okay, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed that video and it's helped you a little bit. What I will say is for you who struggle to get your horses to stretch down into the contact, I actually have another video out just called How to Free Walk on a Long Rain. Now, if you go and find that video, I give you a few techniques as to how to get them to actually stretch down. So go and have a watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed these videos, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it that it shows your love and support so yeah go ahead and click that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos in the future